will probably just absorb everyone's dressy body out. <laughs> <laughs> That's the gate where we're not allowed to leave the next 24 hours. Hello and welcome back to another video. So it's just gone 10.30 a.m. We are outside the Morn Library and we are going to attempt to spend 24 hours in the library without leaving. Um, we've got a lot of stuff. Yeah, that's right, I brought a suitcase with me. Let's come inside. <laughs> oh, you're so sad. Oh, bless. Ask not <laughs> what your country can do for you. Ask what you can do for your country. Let's just go explore. Let's go explore. We're gonna go explore. We're gonna find our hangout space. Oh no. And if worst comes to worst, we can just sit on the floor. Great. I'm so glad I came. This moment is huge. Okay, so it is now quarter to 11. It has taken us about 15 minutes to find the perfect location. We have got ourselves a mini room, a lovely table with four chairs next to the toilet, which is great because I have quite an overactive bladder. So okay. this is the view. The most important thing is the snacks that we brought with us. We popped into Waitrose, I know, very unlike me, but they had a sale on. You could get two packets of these for £2.50, which is such a bargain because they're usually £2.50 each. I made Poe and I a kiwi, apple, orange, pineapple smoothie. I also got us a nice Tupperware box full of blueberries, strawberries and raspberries so that we can get one of our five days at least. The first thing on my list is my accounting lecture notes on variance and investment. So I'm going to do that, see how long that takes me. It's two lectures and they're each two hours long. So it might take me quite a while. Just thought I'd let you know that the day I decide to spend 24 hours in the library is the day that Kate Middleton and the Queen come to my university. Meanwhile, I'm in the library. It's, it's like almost being there. <laughs> <laughs> so it's been an hour and a half. It's 12 o'clock. Poimi's been waiting for about an hour and a half for her bagel. I even cut the bagel in half. If that's not what you call a lovely sister, I don't know what is. I used two of my items up this morning for that. Two. As you might have noticed, it's a little bit cold. Hence why I've got a blanket <laughs> on. So it's two o'clock and I've only just finished my first set of notes on variances. I could be possibly the slowest note taker of all time. So what I'm gonna do now is my tutorial work. So I have four questions on variance analysis. I'm gonna do that and upload that onto Keats, which is our portal because uh, this is part of our mark. You need to hand it in online if you wanna get your attendance. Um, my sister ended up trying to tip this onto her nails, which is not how you paint your no. nails. It's my turn to get pampered. It's half three now. I'm gonna get started with some financial management and capital budgeting. The library's getting a lot busy now. People keep on coming in and out, uh, going to the toilet. 4.06, not sure if you can see that. It's just gone four, so I've got a little bit more of work. I did a reasonable amount of notes for the latest lecture. I thought it would be exciting if I could learn how to solve a Rubik's Cube because that's quite a cool party trick, I feel, so. Yeah, but you could get the ones on the edge to be in the middle. No, you can't. <laughs> I swear you can, I've done it before. Break it. <laughs> okay, I get it, I get it, I get it. So, so that has to be like that because yeah. of the red in there. Mm -hmm. Okay, well that's yellow, so then I'm just gonna keep on spinning it. <laughs> <laughs> mix it up, mix it up. I'm learning. I'm learning. But my sister does. Do you? Yeah. I, I haven't done it in a while. Thank you. I've got to mess it up again now. <laughs> Yeah, that's it. And then move it. I see. Okay. Back down this way up. 
Okay. I got to set two out of four apparently. I can do all the greens and then the ring around the greens. But I just can't do the final bit. So, I'm going to take this as a good break to go and hunt for a nice pretty book somewhere in this big library so that I can paint a nice card for my sister's birthday. Poiming's going to keep the fork down, aren't you? Returned successfully with a book. Isn't that a nice book, see? Mm. Let's take a look inside. You don't really expect picture books in university. Which bird would you like, Poiming? Pick one. Good choice. You ask, I deliver. Poiming has seriously cheered up because we're now <laughs> <laughs> looking at what we're gonna get for dinner. Anything that's hot, my fingers are so cold, my whole body is so cold. It's quarter past five at the moment, so the Chow family gets quite hungry as soon as it ticks after 4 p.m. Go for it. Meet inside through gate. Food is coming. How long is it gonna be? Like 20 minutes? The guy was so nice and came up to the stairs so that I didn't have to properly leave. Beef and chicken fur and uh, what? Beef brisket. Beef brisket, okay. There's a decent amount of meat in this as well, so. You can get a vegetarian one. This is good value though. It's like oyster or hoisin. Hoisin, it looks quite hoisin-y. Yeah. Oh, those poor and the big mint leaf. We were with Dragonfly Cafe for dinner tonight. Never been there, never heard of it. It's a Vietnamese cafe slash restaurant in Clerkenwell. Although I see there are chilies in this bag, yeah, if you want. The pot is huge, it's literally the size of my head. Cool! And now that people are starting to leave and go home, it means that more spaces are becoming available. Mm -hmm. So, that means we could try and get a booth tonight. Also, getting near the door was quite nice because I got a bit of fresh air, a bit of breeze in. Down. Yes. Away. Yes. Swish. Yes. Down. Towards. Towards. <laughs> Hi, John Fitzgerald Kennedy. Do solemnly swear to preserve, protect, and defend the Constitution of the United States. So help me God. So help me God. I've learned how to do a Rubik's cube. So the library staff have officially gone home as it's half eight. The library will remain open throughout the night with security staff. Thank you. I think I'm just going to finish up with this painting because I don't think I'm getting any further and I should probably start work now. So it's just coming up to nine o'clock now and we have changed location. <coughs> found ourselves in a little booth. The lights aren't working. I think I'm gonna do more accounting. When the times get bad and you realize you and your sister can't breathe and you have two antihistamines left. You wouldn't believe it, but there is showers here. So I'm gonna take my stuff down and test out the showers and see how gross they are. Meanwhile, Poi Ming is ready to open the popcorn. I'm gonna die. She's gonna die. I mean, granted, it is almost 11 o'clock, so. The best of both worlds. The sweet and salty. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna be asleep by the time I return. <laughs> what? <laughs> There's mice here. You better clean up that popcorn real good. Time to go shower. Can you come with me? <laughs> Let's get it. Lower ground floor. This place kind of seems slightly haunted. Just so you know, I'm only trying out the shower so that you don't have to. Um, I think it should be through here by the toilet. I'm not expecting much. That looks like a help button or light. So, okay, showering in the dark. Oh, that's scary. Okay, light, where is the light? The light, there is no light. 
wouldn't necessarily recommend that shower. It was very cold, which is potentially quite good for the environment because you use less water, but it smelled. There was no light, so I'd use the flashlight of my phone the whole time I was in there. Got on a face mask so I can relax. When this comes off, I'm gonna clean our teeth. I must admit it's a bit weird walking through the library like this. Compare this to 12 hours ago. We have made it past midnight. Poiming is just gonna go check the wellbeing room to see if there are people there. Um, are there? The beanbag room is empty. This is the little wellbeing room. We have made ourselves some semi beds and look, now, now we've got a blanket. Night night. Morning, it is 8.30. My alarm did go off at 7.30, but I went straight back to sleep afterwards. There's only two hours to go until the 24 hours is up. It's a great sleep. I slept the whole night with my coat over my head though, because these lights don't turn off. I think they've put aircon on in this room, so it's a little bit cooler this morning, which is quite nice to wake up to. The offices opposite the Morn Library are basically full now, and people are going to uni. Meanwhile, I'm in my pajamas still. <laughs> Some of you might be wondering why we aren't having a proper breakfast or why I didn't pack us a fruit salad or something like that. But it's because as a thank you to Poi Ming for coming along and putting up with me uh, for 24 hours, I thought I would thank her by taking her to a blogger event which is a breakfast brunch blogger event. So we're going to be eating lots of gluten-free genius toasts and different types of fibrous goods. So that's why we're going to be leaving at bang on 10.30 so that we can get there for 10.45. So basically breakfast is going to be more of a brunch today. <laughs> Would I do this again? Probably not. That's not to say that it was horrible. The shower, disgusting. Don't go down there. It stinks, it's dark, it's damp, it's cold. But the sleeping arrangement wasn't too bad. I'd definitely take a nap there. I've napped before on bean bags. I've never had a proper sleep. but. It wasn't that bad. With all the pampering and face masks that's gone on, some may say that this was actually a relaxing retreat. Others might not say that, but um, I'm glad we found this toilet out room because it's given us our own space. Would you recommend doing the 24 challenge to someone with No. We almost got a bit enthralled then with our card game. It's 10.29 and we're gonna head out to leave. We did it. We basically have done it. We did a 24 hours in the morn. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Feel free to subscribe to this channel and I will see you next week. Have a lovely day. Bye.